Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. And I am so glad you are here today with me. And you know we're going to talk about something and everything. We're going to get into it. But I just wanted to say hello and hopefully each and every one of you all are doing fantastic. Welcome back. That's the next thing I have to tell y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, and welcome back to the channel. Then you had to come over here. You sure did. But you were like, let me go see what they are talking about. I know she ain't talking about nothing but a piece of shit. But it's something. And I'm going to go on over there and get me my, li- my little kikis and my little ha-has. Okay? But don't forget, as you come into the house, or if you're when you leave in the house, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Come off that fence. Come off that curb. Come from in the bushes. Just come on into the house. And I say welcome to my YouTube family. Okay? But as we always have to say, like, share, and subscribe, and comment. You know I like the comments, even though y'all be coming for a sister, but it is what it is. That is my channel, okay? That's my original channel, and this is my second channel, all right? We need you all to go over there, do your thing, uh, subscribe to the channel so we continue to grow, all right? But we know you have to use this fair disclaimer act. Everything we doing over here is alleged. Alleged, alleged, alleged. Get it into your mind. Everything you're hearing over here at the house is alleged. Okay? Mm-hmm. Because we don't know nothing to be factual because we're too sorry to go into, you know, just to go in, into investigating the situation. Unless it's just one thing that just, you know, just picking at me, just gnawing at me. And I have to go see it for myself. But then that would be an exclusive. Okay, so we don't get too much into those, but you know we got to have a talk. We got to have a conversation. We got to get into it because this person that we're going to be talking about, child, <laughs> child, I can't keep it undercover any longer. We got to talk about it. We got to have a conversation. And why don't we get right on into it? And we're off. We're going to be talking about T.K. Kirkland. <clears throat> I don't know who he is, really. He's a rapper, I guess. And he's sitting down doing an interview about why, oh, why, uh, is Jada Pickett Smith talking about Tupac. And I got to think about that thing. I said, okay, they did have some type of a relationship, even if it was a situation type of relationship. Because to tell the truth, Tupac was more... Um, Let's put it like this. He trusted certain women. And w- the one black woman I know he did trust was Jasmine Guy. Okay, we all know who Jasmine Guy is. You know, she played as Whitley. And um, what's that for? Um, what is it? Um, it's a Different World sitcom show. Uh, that's what she really, really made an impression on television to uh, remember who she was in, as an actress. And, of course, she did dance, she did theater, and all that kind of stuff. But I'm just bringing you up to the forefront of what you probably can remember her doing at the latter part of her career. But anyway, he is dogging the hell out of Jada. I'm like, wait a minute now, wait a minute. But in a sense, the shit was kind of true, that he, what he was putting out there. But it's just the way he put it out there. I'm like, Damn. I mean, a woman can't catch a break. But then again, she's out there on a smear campaign to paint Will as this um, this person that didn't understand her, I guess. And she's delusional about Tupac. And you could say they did work together on a different word. He made an appearance, one-time appearance, and he played his role well because he was playing like he was a gangster. And in this life, we know he was a gangster. 
he was uh, down with one gang and, you know, he was thugging for life and <laughs> he let everybody know about it. Okay, but I think he was kind of trying to settle down a little bit from that type of, uh, we call it situation, uh, gangster situation. But let's go on in to see what T. Kirkland had to say about Miss Jada Pickett, please. A minute. Okay, here you go. Tupac would the Tupac wouldn't have fucked with her. Tupac wouldn't have fucked with her. I, I'm tired of that story. It, it, it never went down. Oh, Tupac. Bitch, I know Tupac. Tupac wouldn't have been fucking with you. You know, and, and I'm, I'm just tired of this this mindset some women have. They think that uh, whether it happened 20, 30 years ago, a nigga still going to fuck with you. It would have been. Tupac was a boss. He was very intelligent. The nigga cut off Madonna, dog. That's how cold Tupac was. Madonna. You got to be a cold nigga to break off with Madonna. I'm sorry. If I'm not mistaken, I think Tupac, he had a fiance before he died, right? Kadada Jones, Quincy Jones' daughter? Exactly. Right. Sure was. Yeah, they wasn't rocking like that. Mm -mm. They wasn't like that. But in today's world, the people can lie so much. And, and once you get out there, whew, it can take off. I'm tired of all that shit. And I'm tired of her always talking about Tupac. With it. Tupac wouldn't have fucked with her. Tupac wouldn't have fucked with her. I'm tired of that story. It, 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 Okay, so y'all heard about that coming from T.K. Clark Kirkland. Uh, and it's coming from The Art of Dialogue. So if y'all want to go over there on Instagram, catch it up. They doing a lot of interviews, okay? That's all I'm saying. But get down in those comments and y'all let me know what y'all thought about T.K. Kirkland. Uh, <laughs> yes, y'all get down in them comments and let me know what y'all thought about it. Uh, and I'll get back with you next video. Bye.